The students are checking their quiz answers. The answer to number four is someone. I know someone. The answer to number five is somewhere. We are going somewhere. Yes, Helen. Can you say that again? I didn't hear you. The answer to number five is somewhere. Oh, I got it wrong. How do you spell somewhere? S O M E W H E R E. I don't understand. Why can't we use anywhere? I know. We only use anywhere in negative sentences or questions. Very good, Dave. That's correct. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to part C of this month's ABC Talk. This is day three of our lesson dealing with classroom English. In parts A and B, we read dialogues featuring two characters, Mr. Green and Helen, and they, along with Dave, are back for more. Today, they will be answering questions and asking questions too. Let's get started. The students are checking their quiz answers. The answer to number four is someone. I know someone. The answer to number five is somewhere. We are going somewhere. Yes, Helen. Can you say that again? I didn't hear you. The answer to number five is somewhere. Explanation one. Mr. Green and his class are hard at work when today's dialogue begins. The students are checking their quiz answers with the help of Mr. Green. Right, and the word check and quiz are the first two vocabulary words of the day. Check, check. It's a verb. If you check something here, you look at that thing, and you see whether or not this thing is. Correct. Okay. Here, the students are checking answers. They're looking to see whether they have answered questions right or if they've answered questions wrong on their quizzes. For example, before I handed in my essay, I checked it for grammatical errors. 无论你是要交作业、交报告或是交论文等等，都应该要先检查看看有没有文法错误或者是拼字错误。那么 check。Check 这个单词在课文里面是当动词，就表示核对啊、检查。例如 ，Be sure to check your tire pressure before you hit the road. Be sure to check your tire pressure before you hit the road. 在出发之前，务必要先检查胎压，这很重要哦。那句子里面的 hit the road 不是要你走马路，<笑>这样你的手会流血哦。Hit the road 表示上路、启程或是出发。好，再看个例句。Richard checked the restaurant bill before he paid. Richard checked the restaurant bill before he paid. Richard 在餐厅呢，他有先核对过账单才去付钱。那我们接下来学今天第二个单词 quiz. And quiz is the second vocabulary word of the day. Quiz, quiz. It's a noun. A quiz is like a test, only smaller. A quiz is a small test that might be short or Which can be taken in a short period of time. A teacher might give you a quiz to see if you've done your homework or to figure out how much you know about something. For example, everyone, close your books. It's time for a pop quiz. 现在要随堂小考了，把书本盖起来吧。那么 quiz. Quiz 这个单词在课文里面它是当名词，表示小考、随堂测验。那要特别注意 ，quiz 它的复数要重复字尾 z 再加 es 变成 quizzes。例如 ，We have a math quiz every Wednesday. We have a math quiz every Wednesday. 我们每个礼拜三都会有数学小考。好，再看个例句 ，Their history teacher likes to give pop quizzes. 
Their history teacher likes to give pop quizzes. 他们的历史老师很喜欢临时小考，喜欢来音的。好，开玩笑。那么 pop quiz 就表示临时的小考。顺便补充一下 ，quiz 也可以当动词哦，它表示对什么来进行测验。那它的过去式跟过去分词也要记得重复字尾 z 再加 ed 变成 quiz。好，今天对话一开始，学生们正在课堂上核对小考的答案。Okay, let's start reading from our dialogue. Sounds good. The answer to number four is someone. I know someone says Mr. Green next, and he's not done. Next up is question number five. The answer. To number five is somewhere. We are going somewhere, he says. Right, but then something happens. Helen raises her hand. She is going to ask a question. Mr. Green sees Helen raise her hand. Then he says, "Yes, Helen." That is, he's asking, "What is your question, Helen?" Well, Helen says. Can you say that again? I didn't hear you. 刚刚 Helen 因为没有听到老师说的话，她和老师说：“可以请您再说一次吗？我没有听到。”那么句子是 ：“I didn't hear you。”那这个句子包含了文法 ：A doesn't hear B。现在就来请 Daphne 老师讲解今天的第一个文法吧。A doesn't hear B， 意思是 A 没有听到 B。Hear 在这里是及物动词，听到、听见的意思。三态是 hear, heard, heard。例如 ，Fred whispered in my ear, but I didn't hear him。弗莱德在我耳边窃窃私语，但我听不见。Mr. Green repeats the answer to number five. The answer to number five is somewhere, he says. That's what he said. All right. Anyway, we've done enough work for now. I say we take a break.、Hmm. A break does sound good. Anyway, don't go away, folks. We'll be back soon. Oh, I got it wrong. How do you spell somewhere? S O M E W H E R E. I don't understand. Why can't we use anywhere? I know. We only use anywhere in negative sentences or questions. Very good, Dave. That's correct. Explanation two. Before the break, Mr. Green and his class were checking a quiz. Helen had just asked Mr. Green to repeat the answer to question number five. The answer to number five is somewhere. Mr. Green had said. Now Helen hears this. Then she says, "Oh, I got it wrong." After that, she asks another question. How do you spell somewhere? She asks. S O M E W H E R E says Mr. Green, but this doesn't clear up Helen's confusion. I don't understand," she says. "Why can't we use anywhere?" Hmm. Good question. And I think Dave has the answer. Yes. Next, Dave raises his hand, and he says, "I know." 我们来看一下刚刚 Helen 说到的两个句子。I got it wrong. 我写错了。以及 Why can't we use anywhere? 为什么不能用 anywhere 这个字呢？这两个句子当中有今天最后的两个文法重点 ：get something wrong 以及 why can't somebody 加上原形动词。我们现在来看看他们的文法解析吧。Get something wrong 意思是搞错某事物为动词片语。Get 在这里是不完全及物动词，使成为使处于某状态的意思。后方先接受词，再以形容词 wrong 错误的作为补语，补充说明受词处于错误的状态。合在一起 
get something wrong 就是搞错某事物。例如 ，the police got the name wrong and arrested an innocent man. 警方搞错名字，逮捕了无辜的男子。接着来看下一则文法。Why can't somebody 加原形动词，意思是为什么某人不能做某事，是一句疑问句，以疑问副词 why 开头，询问原因理由，后方的句子倒装，先说助动词 can't 不能，再说主词。Why can't somebody 加原形动词，就是为什么某人不能做某事。例如 ，Why can't penguins fly? 企鹅为什么不会飞 ？Is that it, Jeff? I think you left something out. You left out Dave's explanation for why it's somewhere, not anywhere. I say we ask the question of the day in order to get to the bottom of things. Okay. Why is the answer? Somewhere and not anywhere. Dave says we only use anywhere in negative sentences or questions. Dave says we only use anywhere in negative sentences or questions. And here we have the third vocabulary word of the day: sentence. 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 It's a noun. A sentence is a group of words that come together and make. Sense. Yes, a sentence is a group of words that form a complete idea. Yes, a sentence must make sense. Yes, its words must come in order, and everything has to be complete. Okay, with with a sentence, you can ask questions, make commands, and more. By the way, a sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. For example. That is not a complete sentence. 那不是一个完整的句子。Sentence, sentence. 这个单词在课文里面是当名词表示句子。例如 ，There are a few spelling errors in this sentence. There are a few spelling errors in this sentence. 这个句子里面有一些拼字错误，有一些字拼错了。那再看一个例句 ，The bad guy in the movie was shot dead. <laughs> Before he could finish his sentence, the bad guy in the movie was shot dead before he could finish his sentence. 在那部电影里面，坏人他话都还没讲完就被射杀了。那他这辈子再也没有办法讲完他那句话了。好，那回到课文里面 ，Helen 请老师再念一次第五题的答案。那答案是 somewhere。Helen 就发现自己写错了，他请老师拼出那个单词，还问说为什么不可以用 anywhere。Dave 知道为什么，他就举手说 ，anywhere 这个字只能用在否定句或是疑问句。那这边帮同学补充一下 ，somewhere 就是指在某个地方或是到某个地方 ，anywhere 是指在任何地方。至于 negative， 它是形容否定的。Now here's the question: Is Dave right? Yes, he is. Next, Mr. Green says, "Very good, Dave. That's correct." And here, in the final lines of our dialogue, we have the final vocabulary word of the day: correct. 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 It's an adjective. If something is correct, it's right. Something that is correct is not wrong, not a mistake, not an error, etc. By the way, the opposite of correct is incorrect and not incorrect. Okay. Anyways, for example, you are correct. That is the right answer. 没错，你是对的。那的确是正确答案。Correct, correct. 这个单词在课文里面是当形容词，表示正确的。那如果我们在 correct 前面加上否定的字首 i n， 变成 incorrect， 那表示不正确的。例如 ，The phone number on this business card is not correct. 你也可以说 the phone number on this business card is incorrect. 这张名片上的电话号码是不正确的。好，另外 correct 也可以当动词来表达改正、纠正，像是 correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you owe me thirty NT dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you owe me thirty NT dollars. No, I don't. 如果我讲错的话，你可以纠正我。可是我印象中，我觉得你还欠我三十元没有还呢。No, I don't. 
。好，回到对话里面，老师说 Dave 讲的是正确的，还夸奖他说非常好。那好了，那我们课文就读到这里喽。Okay, with that, this month's ABC talk is now complete. Right, you are, and that means that we have to say goodbye. Indeed, but don't go away, you guys. We'll be back with more fun next time. The students are checking their quiz answers. The answer to number four is someone. I know someone. The answer to number five is somewhere. We are going somewhere. Yes, Helen. Can you say that again? I didn't hear you. The answer to number five is somewhere. Oh, I got it wrong. How do you spell somewhere? S O M E W H E R E. I don't understand. Why can't we use anywhere? I know. We only use anywhere in negative sentences or questions. Very good, Dave. That's correct. One more, two more. 有关有氧运动的英文，通通都要学起来哦。今天我们要介绍的实用句型是。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是季安。大家到健身房 workout 的时候呢，都是重量训练，那是无氧的。可是我们也需要有有氧的训练呢，才能够燃烧脂肪。对，对，有氧运动怎么说？英文叫做 aerobic exercise。aerobic exercise。aerobic。aerobic。就是有氧的。yes。比如说，像是跑步啊、打球啊、游泳啊、慢跑啊这些，长时间。有节奏的运动，好、哦，那有另外一种叫做什么？它就是针对短时间让你的心脏跳很快，心肺复苏，对对对，心肺训练，哈<笑>、哦，就是 cardio training， cardio training，、嗯、cardio training 就是跟心脏有关的。哦、oh, ，cardio 跟心脏有关的， cardio? 所以呢，它就是，啊、呃，心肺训练，心肺运动 ，OK， 就是像是有氧训练啊。可是呢，这个要燃烧热量，要强烈的。现在有个流行的东西叫做飞轮。飞轮。哇，飞轮英文叫什么呢？叫做 spinning。spinning。嗯 ，spin 呢就是像陀螺一样一直转，一直转，一直转。好，所以 spinning 就是让那个轮子一直转，一直转。嗯，然后还有像什么瑜伽、瑜伽、Yoga，、嗯、很简单，或者是呢，皮拉提斯 （Pilates）。Pilates。OK。为什么要写这一课？我好累。<笑><笑>我们也可以问人家，你有做其他的吗？啊、uh, ，What else do you do？ What else do you do？ 对，那就看你做了哪些事情了、嗯。比如说，比如说，呃，比如说你要问一下，上个周末你做哪些事情？哦，你上个周末做什么事情 ？What else did you do last weekend？ What else did you do last weekend? 对，那你做了什么事情？最喜欢跟教练一起跳有氧。哎，有氧舞蹈。OK， 最喜欢跟教练一起跳，对不对？ Yes, 好， yes. 教练呢，在这边我们叫做 trainer。Trainer. OK, my favorite is to follow the trainer while dancing. My favorite is to follow the trainer while dancing. While dancing. 好，就跳舞的时候跟着教练一起来。一起来，一起来。那还有什么？ Yes. 我最喜欢的什么有氧啊，或者是心肺运动是什么什么？ Yes. 你就说 My favorite type of aerobic exercise. 跳舞。或者是 My favorite type of cardio exercise is 跳舞 dancing. 这样。OK. My favorite type of aerobic exercise is dancing. My favorite type of aerobic exercise is dancing. Dancing, OK. 那如果要配着音乐，随着音乐跳，对，随着音乐起舞，我们这个介系词要用 to dance to the music. Dance to the music. Ooh, 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 ooh. 看一下今天的 live action. Wow, Yo Yo, do you work out? Yes, I do weight training sometimes. Hmm. Wow! What else do you do? Um, some aerobic exercise. Okay.、Yeah. So, what is your favorite type of aerobic exercise? I have many. Many, all right. Yoga. Yoga. Spinning. Spinning. Kickboxing. Wow! What's、um, your favorite? My favorite is to follow the trainer while dancing. Wow! Dun, sounds dun, nice. Dun, dun, dun.
好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 A B C Talk 学到了四个单字，现在用一分钟的时间帮大家复习。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第一个单字它是指核对，或是检查，或是像你在打包的时候，你不是会列出你要带什么吗？然后一个一个打勾，那个动作就叫做 check。Check. It means check. Did you check your spelling before handing in your assignment? You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. You check your spelling before handing in your assignment. E S 变成 quizzes， 例如 I have a biology quiz tomorrow， 我明天有生物小考。好，再看第三个单词句子，句子不是那给关给关那个句子哦，而是写句子的那句子，就是 sentence sentence。The students are learning basic sentence patterns， 学生们正在学习基本句型。好，在第四个单词是正确的，正确怎么说就是 correct correct。That's not the correct answer， 那不是正确答案。好，幸好。差一点，我有在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词，同学表现很棒哦。那么今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，我们下次见喽，拜拜。Yes。Thank、you